stampers Jackie Ball Heist here with a stamping made simple card this is kind of a new video series I'm starting and I'm going to try to at least once a week share a video that I'm calling stamping made simple it's all about making quick and easy cards so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around so you can see what I have to share with you today this is the card that I want to share with you today it's monochromatic so you can actually make it in any color but I've chosen to make three of them all basically the same using some of the new in colors we've got blueberry bushel lovely lipstick and call me clover I think I have those right it's I'm having a hard time remembering all these new colors but we're using the accented blooms which is my featured set this month for my stamps in the mail so make sure that you have subscribed to my video and also to my newsletter so that you get all of those details about my stamps in the mail program where you when you make a purchase you can get a free card kit along with an online class but that's not what today's about it's all about showing you this card and what I'm calling stamping made simple so let's Let's just go ahead and get started. I have a piece of three and a quarter square shimmery white cardstock. Now I'm using the shimmery white because I'm going to use a blender pen that you'll see in a second. And the whisper white just doesn't do real good when you use anything with moisture. So I like the shimmery white for that. And we're going to use the blueberry bushel ink pad. Like you saw, this was one of the brand new style pads. So it opens a little different than we're used to, but I'm, I'm getting used to it. And we're going to just ink up our stamp. Um, since it's a pretty big stamp, I like to ink upside down to make sure that I have it inked you know, really good. And then oh, we'll flip that over because we a little boo-boo on the other side. And then we'll just try to center this in here the best that I can. Give it some good pressure. And there's our image. Now the key here is to go right away with your blender pen. I don't want to let this sit for very long. And I'm going to actually just smear this ink around that I just stamped. I'm not using any additional ink. And I'm doing the leaves first because I, I wanted those to be more solid. And then I'm gonna come on here in the flowers and I'm going to just do the center and then come out from the center to get a little color in there. Um, the, there's really no, no magic here. As long as you do it quick enough, you'll have enough ink there that'll spread around like this. So, but that's the key, don't, don't let it dry before you start coloring. Then up here on these, I'm just gonna kinda go around in a circle a little bit. And that's it, that is all the coloring I'm gonna do. Now, if you're not familiar with the blender pen, it's essentially a clear marker. Once I've used it, I'll scribble on my scrap paper to make sure I have that blue off of it, and now it's good to go and use on any color. So, it, there's other ways to use it as well, but I like it for just moving the color around. So like I said, there's the blueberry one, and you can see how I did the exact same thing here with the Call Me Clover and the lovely, um, lovely lipstick. So to finish off our card, I used the solid image here for either thank you or for hello. Like I said, these are in the accented blooms. And with this, I use my Stamparatus. Um, I tell you, I'm pretty addicted to stamping with the Stamparatus, especially when I have a really bold image like this that I want to make sure I have super crisp and a really good image. Stamparatus makes it perfect. Now, I just have a scrap of Whisper White here. So what I like to do is just stick my scrap in there, set my stamp down where I want it. I just kind of want it over on the edge here because I'm going to punch it out. Close the plate to pick it up. And now we're ready to ink it. So we'll just use our pad, ink this up good, and then we can just flip it closed and give it some good pressure here. Now remember, the advantage of using the Stamparatus is if it doesn't stamp really good, which it's stamped great. Um, I could go ahead and I could just make sure it's up in there in the corner and I could restamp it, but it doesn't look like I need to. So we'll go ahead and take that and punch it out with the tailored tag punch. And like so. This punch I think is gonna be a standard in my collection. I'm gonna use it a lot. And then to finish off the card, I just used some of the brand new designer series paper. Um, this is actually available in all of the color groups, the in colors as well as our normal color groups. There's two different um, sheets and they're double-sided. So two sides have stripes 
and two sides have polka dots. Isn't that fabulous? I can't wait to get my hands on all of the colors. And then you'll notice the card is square. This is actually four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Now, I love square cards, but when you get bigger than a normal four and a quarter inch width, you're gonna end up paying additional postage. But by making it four and a quarter square, it'll still fit in the regular envelope. You know, it just doesn't fill it completely, but that's okay. And you pay regular postage on it. So I like to do this size a lot. It's just kind of a fun size. Um, my designer series paper is four inches by four inches and then I put a little layer of black, pop that up with dimensionals, and there's our Stamping Made Simple card for today. What do you think? Was that simple enough? I hope you enjoyed these cards. And remember, since it's monochromatic, you can make it in any color. Part of me with all these beautiful new colors wants to just make, you know, like 48 of these, one in every color because um, they show the colors off so well. Anyhow, come back again for another Stamping Made Simple video. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do a video like this every week to show you how simple stamping truly is and make some quick and easy cards. Quick and easy doesn't mean it's boring. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also hop on over to my blog. I'll have pictures of these cards along with a list of all of the supplies and dimensions that you need. Make sure you subscribe to the blog and my newsletter as well because I send out lots of stamping ideas and inspiration and it's all geared around making stamping simple. So if you have any questions, make sure to get a hold of me. I'd love to help you. I'd love to answer questions. And if you're looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be that person. If you need a catalog, I'll send you one and help you in any way I can. So until I come back on camera here, have a stamp happy day.